everyone and welcome back to my channel today we are going to create this eye look using solely the illa Masca unveiled artistry palette yes it was previously featured in a boxy charm box however it was a choice item for the july boxes and i have so many requests to see this eyeshadow palette in action as well as you guys are super stoked to receive your palette so we're gonna dive on in and i'm gonna show you how i created this eye look using this palette if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button and the notification bell. That way YouTube lets you know every single time I upload a brand new video. And I do have an Instagram. If you guys want to go follow me there, go check it out. Let's dive on in. To start off this look, I applied this uh, concealer as a primer for my lid. Yes, I have so many eyeshadow primers but i really like the consistency of the formula of like the stick form of the wonder beauty like dual sided concealer so i ended up using it as my base as you can see it really brightens the lid area and diffuses the veins that i have on my lids i'm gonna start off by dipping into the deep chocolate shade that's over here i'm using a 217 brush the maker is no longer on the uh, actual like handle of the brush i think it faded but i'm gonna say it's probably like a Morphe brush, probably. I'm gonna tap out excess product and with this brush, I am going to apply it on the outer corner and bring it all the way in in circular motions. As you guys can see, I am doing little circles, like mini, mini circles. This is gonna help me create the most beautiful base for the next shade that we're gonna use, but it's also gonna help me kind of deepen the crease area and blow it out at the same time it's just another way of blending instead of a windshield wiper motions which is perfectly fine it's actually pretty easy as well you can just do like little circular motions either way it works now i would normally take the eyeshadow and pull it out so that i can have that like elongated eye more of a cat eye effect but i'm going to avoid that today and i am solely just going to go in circular motions out here so i have a more rounded off outer edge and then blend out the crease for those of you wondering, because I know I get a ton of comments with regards to blending, I know it seems a lot easier here on the video because of the fact that I am cutting it. There's a whole editing process behind it. But yes, if you want a really diffused and seamless eyeshadow blend, you really have to take your time. It could take a good one, two, maybe three minutes of a blend to make it look super like flawless, airbrushed, seamless. Now based on my experience with these eyeshadows, I personally feel as though these shimmer shades work a lot better with the finger. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you use a synthetic brush, solely because I have one right here in front of me, but then I'll also show you what it looks like with the finger. So I'm gonna do a synthetic brush on this eye, and then I'll use my finger on the other. I'm gonna go into the third shade from the top row, which I think is a stunning, stunning shade, and it will go really nicely with my top. I'm gonna take that with an Alter Eagle number eight brush, and I'm just simply going to pat it onto the areas that I want the eyeshadow to sit. I've blended that shade all over the lid. Now that I know what that looks like, I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of that brown onto the crease to deepen it just a little bit. I'm not blending on, I'm just solely focusing it here on the outer corner and then bringing it in. And just like that, this eye is done. We're gonna move on in. I'm gonna do all those steps that I did on this eye, on the other one. However, I'm gonna skip the brush and we're gonna use the finger for the shimmer shade. I'm gonna show you that here live. We're ready to try the finger swatch over the eye and see what that looks like. That's what it looks like on the finger. And here we go. I feel like it applies so much better with the finger than with the brush. Same as I did before, I'm gonna go back in and pop a little bit more of that deep chocolate brown and then bring that onto the like inner corner of the crease. So far that's looking really nice. I'm gonna take another eyeshadow brush. This is a Royal and Lang Nickel MD. So I'm assuming MD means a medium eyeshadow shader brush. I'm gonna dip into that chocolate shade. I'm not gonna swatch it too much with the brush, but I am gonna dip into it. I'm gonna tap out and I'm gonna lightly drag it under the eye from beginning to end. 
To give the eye an extra pizzazz, I will be lining my waterline with a brown eyeliner. This one's by Charlotte Tilbury. I know Makeup Geek makes a beautiful espresso shade. You can also use a pixie one. They're amazing. Drugstore has a really great ones as well. Whatever you have in your collection at the moment, use that. Don't go crazy trying to buy the Charlotte Tilbury because I know it's a little on the expensive side. I'm going to go ahead and just line my waterline really quickly. It's crazy how that alone has elevated this look to a whole nother level, but we will be curling our lashes and applying some mascara. The mascara I am going to be using is the Lift and Define 5D Lash um, Extra Dimension. Wow, that's a long name. So it literally, the packaging literally says, Lift and Define 5D Lash Extra Dimension Mascara. But this is by Revolution Makeup or Makeup Revolution. I will lightly coat my lashes with one coat because I want them to be super dark. Sometimes when you apply eyeshadow, not sometimes, most of the time, not all the time. When you apply eyeshadow, unfortunately, you end up getting some of that powder all over your lashes. If it's a dark eyeshadow like the brown, then it doesn't matter. But when it's a shimmer shade, you can totally tell on your actual like natural lashes. So applying some mascara is really helpful within this step. I'm gonna coat the bottom lashes as well. I'm gonna give it a decent coat, but it'll just be one coat. You can stop right here. However, you guys know me. I wanna take this look as far as I can. So I'm gonna use my Queen Lash Box Lashes along with my Duo Quick Set Lash Glue. I'm gonna trim them, pop them on, and kinda show you guys what it looks like. Now once your lashes have been laid on their bed and they're set, Guys, this is what the look is going to look like. It's super simple. Is it the kind of palette that everyone is going to be obsessed with? In my opinion, no. I think it's very, very neutral. I think it's gonna be perfect for someone who's being introduced into makeup, just learning makeup, or absolutely loves their neutrals. This palette does not bring that pop of color, but it does bring some pizzazz. So I wanna make sure it's very clear. It is a nice palette. Pigmentation is there, the blendability is there, and you definitely have options when it comes to shade selection and you absolutely are able to create a stunning, stunning look. Now, if you're wondering what lip combo I currently have on, I have the Makeup Forever, what are you? The number three bluff artist nude cream. So it is in number three buff. And then the lip liner that I have around the perimeter of my lips is the St. Lux Love Letter Lip Liner. So I went in with the lip liner first and then I filled in my lip with the Makeup Forever Lippy. It's very comfortable. It started getting on my teeth at first and I was like, oh no, we can't have that. But once it started to dry down just a little bit, we're good. And that is a wrap for this very quick eye tutorial using the Illamasqua palette that will be featured in BoxyCharm in the month of July. Let me know down below what do you guys think about this eye look. Are you guys absolutely excited to receive your palette in next month's box? And if you already own the palette, are you looking to recreate this look? If you choose to recreate the look, make sure you tag me over on Instagram. I'd love to repost you guys' looks. And that is a wrap up for this video. Thank you so much for choosing to spend a few minutes out of your day with me. It really means a lot. Make sure you check out the videos that are coming here on screen. There are more unboxings, tutorials, how to's, and all that good stuff. I know you guys are going to absolutely love. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye, guys.